Hello Minions, Wheezy here again, and today I'm going to talk to you about Call of Duty Cold War, give you my initial impressions, whether or not I think you should buy it now if you haven't already, or whether you might want to wait, and I'm going to talk to you about my plans for some upcoming videos in the very near future uh, that I'm working on, on how to help you guys rank up and unlock things for your weapons faster, so let's take a look. Okay, so today, I'm going to kick it off, I've actually got a free-for-all game for you guys uh, that I'm going to show while I talk and give my initial impressions. The free-for-all game is a little bit of a uh, preview as well. I've been doing some experimenting on weapon unlocks and uh, the fastest way to rank up because uh, I think there are some things in this game that you really kind of need in multiplayer in order to be successful. and. I'm interested in getting there as quickly as possible, those things being weapon unlocks. Um, get to that a little bit later. First, I want to talk about my uh, initial impressions of Call of Duty Cold War and whether or not I think you guys should buy it if you haven't already or wait. And the too long did not watch is I'm going to say, if you haven't already bought Cold War, I would actually recommend that you wait a little while if you're not super gung-ho about uh, getting in the game today, which you, if you haven't bought it yet, you're obviously not super gung-ho about it. Um, I'd say wait. I'm not going to say don't buy it. I'm saying you're probably going to want to buy it eventually, but maybe not right now. And let, here's why. So first I'll touch on the part that's maybe not as important for people who are playing Call of Duty. But for me, I always like the single-player parts of the game. So I've always played the Call of Duty campaigns when they exist. Um, when I've actually got the game, I skipped Call of Duty for several years, as you guys are aware. The campaign in uh, Cold War is good. As far as a Call of Duty campaign, it's um, a little, I don't even want to say short. It's about six hours, I think, um, which is short, but at the same time, it's a decent length because they're not trying to do anything like super amazing. It's not some epic tale. It's, you know, it's a, it's a, a long, you know, pseudo political action movie about the Cold War with a little bit of intrigue. And uh, so I won't give away anything here. But those of you who haven't already seen it will notice that I'm going to be posting my story time and my cinematic gameplays of the Cold War walkthrough. It's only going to be eight episodes because that's how long it takes to do the entire game. I try to aim for about 30 minutes an episode, but with the way the game was paced, uh, they're going to be closer to 45 minutes or an hour. Um, so it's going to be about eight, eight episodes. Uh, and it's going to be really entertaining. I'm just going back and rewatching them as I'm rendering them and getting ready to upload. Um, I'm, I'm laughing to myself, so it's not the best campaign in the world, right? It's not like it's not like groundbreaking. It's not like I made that comparison once or twice, but it's not like a game like Bioshock or or something like Uncharted where it's going to be cinematic and like really memorable. It's just kind of a forgettable campaign. So if you do like the campaign part, don't hurry up and buy uh, Cold War because it's only about a six-hour campaign. You can knock it out whenever. It's not like something you've got to absolutely do right now. Um, and if maybe you're interested in the campaign but don't necessarily want to play it, watch my episodes. So if you want to watch kind of the Mystery Science Theater version where I just talk, uh, I, I, as I was playing through the campaign, I just recorded commentary as I was going. Um, and because OBS records multiple audio tracks, uh, I'm able to isolate my commentary through the microphone from the actual gameplay. So I'm posting two versions. Uh, of every episode. One is what I call the cinematic gameplay, which is just the gameplay with all of the in-between stuff. If I die or something like that, or there's fluff or menus and stuff, I, I crop all that out. So it's just literally the storyline of the game with the appropriate gameplay that connects those, as well as um, my story time, which is me playing the game all the way through, basically mostly uncut, um, just with my commentary. So, campaign. Multiplayer. So far... Connection issues, uh, not really dropouts per se, but there is there is a huge connection advantage throughout the game that is frustrating. If you guys watched my live stream from the other day, this game is like Black Ops 1, <laughs> like 10 years ago level infuriating. Um, it's just it's just the, the net code is not good. And I, I thought maybe it was like a perception thing, but 
I read a couple of articles where people have actually tested it, and they say that the frame delay between shooting and getting hit markers in this game is between five to seven frames, where in Modern Warfare it was consistently about three. So you're getting about twice as much lag in this game as you were in Modern Warfare, and it is noticeable. You will go all the way around a corner and take bullets, and it is infuriating. So, um... Hopefully that's something I can get better at, considering that this is an issue that has plagued Treyarch games in the past. I'm not entirely convinced that they can fix that. Um, but at the same time, as I've been playing it more, and I'm going to put out videos and stuff, there are game play styles and things you can do to kind of mitigate that. Um, I played quite a bit of different game modes, found myself less frustrated. Surprisingly enough, what I ended up being the most frustrated with was Domination. Um, which is kind of interesting because that I'm, I'm an objective player. When I play Domination, I want to win the game. Whenever I play any game, I want to win. If it's Team Deathmatch, if it's Kill Confirmed, if it's Kill Confirmed, I want to get tags, I want to win. If it's Domination, I want to capture points, I want to win. Trying to win a Domination game in Cold War with the connection problems and the inevitable problems you have with shitty teammates and such um, is, is a bit infuriating. So... I'll know more as I get into it. I played, I played quite a bit at this. Well, I, I mean, not compared to some of the people who are doing this professionally, not, not a lot. But I've been off uh, from work. I took off work this week and next week, not specifically for Call of Duty, but just because I needed a break from work. I did spend yesterday, um, as I'm recording this yesterday, which is Wednesday, but I'm recording it Thursday. I'll probably post this Friday. Anyway, <laughs> I spent the better part of the day, you know, probably p played six hours of Call of Duty, pretty much straight, maybe even more. Um, because, like I said, I was trying to figure out the best ways to rank up. I tried, uh, it's not ground war, what is it, combined arms. I tried dirty bomb, domination, team deathmatch, kill confirmed, and free-for-all. And compared them to see which ones, uh, in general, helped me rank up. I'm specifically looking to try to get weapon unlocks faster because I want, a, I want silencers for my weapons and I want to rank them up. Because... The naked weapons are outclassed in this game until you get a few unlocks, until you get like at least almost like halfway up the unlock tree. You're really at a pretty severe disadvantage with every weapon. Um, and I, I'm not even ready to get into weapon balance issues yet. There's already the MP5 is getting a reputation for being unbalanced, but I think the reason for that is because everyone has it from the beginning, and if you start unlocking attachments for it, that's just the gun that people have attachments unlocked for, and so it's showing up more often, and it feels overpowered because most of the time you die, it's from the MP5. I think that's just because it's one of the most common weapons early on, same as the XM4. Um, using the MP5 for a significant amount, I really don't think it's that overpowered because at anything other than close range, it takes a shit ton of bullets to kill someone. It's just... Um, I find myself being more successful at non-close range engagements, medium and long range engagements with something like the XM4, this is the Krieg. Um, so I won't get too much into weapon balance because I, I'm not entirely sure how much of an issue that is yet. We'll learn more as people unlock stuff. This is something I noticed in Modern Warfare as well. People would jump on these weapons, like one person who's a big YouTuber would say, this is the best gun in the game, and then everyone would use that gun. And then they would say, no, this is the best gun in the game, and then everyone would use that gun. And I played and unlocked all the attachments for every gun in Modern Warfare. And there were some that were just absolute trash all the way across the board. You couldn't, you couldn't, they weren't redeemable at all, like the Striker, like, <laughs> awful. There were some guns where they, they, they were just fucking trash, right? Um, but there were a lot of guns that were competitive, and I think this game's going to be similar. The, you're going to see some guns that some of the big YouTubers say, this is the best gun in the game, become the most popular, right? So I'm talking a lot about weapon balance when I just said I wasn't going to talk about weapon ba balance that much. So, um, So yeah, moving on from that. Uh, I think multiplayer is going to get better over time. The score streaks thing is still kind of nuts. For those of you who have seen me kind of talk about it before. Although that, again, seems to be worse in Domination. So it could be that Treyarch has just kind of ruined Domination in Cold War. Um, I've had a lot more fun in Kill Confirmed, surprisingly amount in Free For All, so I'll cover that, like I said, in my Unlocks video. Um, as this is starting to draw to an end this match um but yeah so overall 
the game is oh, the game is a bit frustrating um, with the connection issues. That's the biggest thing right now is connection issues. I don't think weapon balance is awful yet, but I'm still kind of feeling out the game. I played a lot yesterday and I didn't have a horrible time, so so there's some potential here. Um, so like I said, I would I would recommend wait if you don't have it now. Maybe wait until things stabilize a little bit. You don't have to jump out and get it. If you do go and get it. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Like I'm, I'm not. I don't regret buying it right now. I'm. I knocked out the campaign in like two days, um, and and it was good enough. I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to enjoy multiplayer by kind of opening it up. Um, I'll talk more about some of the specific things, but combined arms is still absolute garbage. Garbage. Dirty bomb is still a clusterfuck and a mess. Um, so I think six v six multiplayer is where it's at right now until Warzone comes out in December. And again, I haven't been great in I haven't been huge in Warzone during Modern Warfare, so we'll see. But the six v six multiplayer is an awful. But I still do when I think about it right now. I had more consistently more fun playing Modern Warfare than I am having on Black Ops now, even though I'm not necessarily raging at it, playing it the way that I've been. So I wouldn't hurry to buy it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is wrapped up some post-game score stuff there and uh yeah let me know what you guys thoughts are uh down below and uh yeah I, I, there's gonna be more to come i'm gonna keep playing it until until i can't stand it anymore so um i'll go ahead and i'll go ahead and switch over here uh yeah yeah if you guys um if you guys aren't some of my faithful subscribers um, there's gonna be a lot of good content coming forward stuff that's gonna help you guys do things more efficiently um focusing a lot more on helping people make the most out of their playtime in a variety of games as well as the story times I've been doing with single player games. So um, so subscribe if you haven't, you wanna see more videos like this. If you guys like this video, like it. If you didn't like this video, dislike it. It really helps me figure out what you guys wanna see and what you don't wanna see. Uh, and yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.